state. Today I will discuss the groups we assess to be the highest and moderate threats to New Jersey and look at some of their targets and intentions. Homegrown violent extremists, or HVEs, pose the highest threat to the state. These are individuals that are inspired as opposed to directed by foreign terrorist organizations. In 2016, for instance, there were 10 attacks and 10 plots by HVEs, with a total of 38 HVEs identified during the year. Seaside Park in particular remembers the attack in September of last year in which Rahimi targeted a Marine Corps charity run here and then subsequently attacked New York City and police officers in Linden, New Jersey. HVs are difficult to identify during the radicalization process, but we do know that there are some similarities in how they conduct attacks. For instance, most HVs choose targets proximate to the residents in an area of relative familiarity. They display troubling behaviors that are observable to close associates, friends, and family members. They use easily acquired weapons, and they usually act alone or in small groups. HVs are influenced by the activities of foreign terrorist groups overseas and look to their various English language propaganda magazines for guidance. Since the beginning of May, Al-Qaeda as well as Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, or AQAP, and ISIS have disseminated new propaganda that encourages HVs to target large gatherings and outdoor events in the United States during the summer months. This included an audio statement from Hamza bin Laden, the son of former Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden. In the statement, he directed followers to read AQAP's English language magazine Inspire, which offers tactical guidance to sympathizers. AQAP's leader, Kasim al-Rimi, also released a statement instructing HVEs to carry out easy and simple attacks and to act the same as Omar Mateen, the Pulse nightclub shooter. ISIS even suggested followers to choose ideal target locations, which include movie theaters, restaurants, concert halls, and public swimming pools. One trend that we have seen increasing over the past year is that of vehicle ramming attacks. Our office assesses that extremists, particularly HVEs, will likely continue using vehicles as weapons for a number of reasons. To include foreign terrorist organizations promoting this tactic, like ISIS and AQAP, the success of past attacks, and the fact that vehicles are considered easily acquired weapons. Now that we've looked at the highest threat, I want to briefly mention some of the moderate threat groups this includes. ISIS, AQAP, anarchists, black separatists, militia extremists, sovereign citizens, and white supremacists. Starting off with ISIS. ISIS is, ISIS is a moderate threat because despite having never directed an attack in the United States, they still continue to inspire a majority of the HVEs that we see. In the year ahead, mounting setbacks threaten to undermine ISIS's positions overseas, and they have suffered a series of territorial and leadership losses. We've also seen declines in online media production and foreign fighter recruitment. AQAP is an ex Islamic extremist organization based down in Yemen. It is Al-Qaeda's most active global affiliate. In November of 2016, AQAP dedicated the 16th edition of its English language magazine, Inspire, to the September attacks in New Jersey, New York, and Minnesota. AQAP declared the operation a success, stating that the American citizen will definitely feel and live in a state of fear and instability. The rest of the moderate threat groups and domestic terrorist organizations are uh, more domestic terrorist groups. We define domestic terrorism as violence committed by race-based, single-issue, anti-government, and religious extremists without direction or inspiration from foreign terrorist organizations. We see something, say something by reaching out to our office. We use the information that the public provides us to ensure our communities are a safer place to live. We work hand-in-hand -hand with federal and local partners to accomplish this. If you see something, say something. I can't say that enough. And don't worry about looking like a fool. You're going to save lives. Okay. <laughs>